so it is time to get started on my next model. And as you can see, this is the before. And now this is me getting started cutting in the actual outline and my first section of the haircut, which will be the guide for the rest of the haircut. Now, what I did is I took a center section down the center of the back, and then I took two A-line sections, which you can see I've clipped up the hair away from the very first section. The very first section I've combed down, and as you saw, I used my comb to hold the hair as I established the first section and the outline. I'm also taking my scissors and cleaning up the hair on the neck. So any of the neck hairs, what I'm doing right now is I'm just simply using my scissors to cut the neck hairs away and have a nice clean outline. So now what I'm going to do to establish the rest of the outline throughout the rest of the haircut is simply take A-line sections, working my way up, using my comb to hold the hair steady so that the hair doesn't move as I cut it with the scissors, and then simply use the previous section, which is my guide, underneath to establish where I'm going to cut each and every section, working my way up the head. So you can see I'm holding the hair in my comb right there. And then whatever sticks out of my comb, I'm going to simply take my scissors and cut that off so that we have a nice, sharp, precision outline all the way around the head. completed cutting the outline, I pretty much just went ahead and cut a bob, which now means it's time to do the layers since this is a layered bob. So I've taken my very first section in the center back and I'm pulling the hair, combing the hair straight back, holding my fingers in a square shape and basically establishing a square layer in the bob. This is going to help the bob have a little bit more fullness a little bit more curvature, it's going to make the hair lighter so it's not as heavy, which means you're going to have more volume. Oftentimes a bob can be a heavy haircut because it's just all one length, there's no layers in it. So by taking the bob and layering it, you're lightening it up, 
to enhance volume. Now, I'm simply just taking sections, working from the center back to the left, and now I'm taking center, the sections, working my way to the right, and I'm over-directing these sections to the previous section. So the previous section has already been cut, and by over-directing to the previous section, I now know how short to cut the current section. So, as you can see, everything is being over-directed back into a square shape into the previous section. So now that I have completed cutting the square layers in the bob, I am going to take a center section, as you can see right here, down the center of the back, and I'm going to hold my fingers in an angle. And what I'm doing is simply just cutting the corner of the layer. See, when I pull the hair straight back and cut a square shape, at the end of a line in a square, you will have a corner. And in a square, you're going to have four corners at the end of every line. Well, I just want to soften the square layers by rounding off that corner and adding a little graduation. By adding a little more graduation in the layer, at the bottom of the layer, it's going to add a little bit more volume into the haircut. It's going to make the hair look fuller in the back and it's going to lift, the graduation is going to lift the layers that are already above it and the layers are also going to lift, so they're going to already be full, but the graduation is going to push those layers up even more, creating even more volume. is I'm going to cut some frame the face layers just so the front is a little bit more lighter. See we've cut the square layers in the back but the front is still pretty one length and I want to lighten up the front so that the front has a little bit more volume so by doing the frame the face layers it's going to lighten up the hair right there at the very front of the haircut right next to her face. So now I've taken the time to blow dry the hair and it is time to cross check the entire haircut. Right here I'm cross checking the outline, making sure it's nice and clean, and then I'm basically going to go through and cross check all of the graduation that I cut at the bottom of the haircut, as well as the layers throughout the haircut.
we have come to the end of the haircut. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is a graduated layered bob. For those of you who enjoy having a bob haircut, but oftentimes find it flat and heavy, you may want to consider doing a graduated bob or a layered bob, or in this particular case, a graduated layered bob. So, if you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to put them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I want to thank you so very much again for watching.